Every school child knows the human skeleton has 206 bones. But the textbooks may need to be rewritten, after a bone scientists thought had been lost to evolution has made a curious comeback. The fibella, a tiny bone that sits inside the tendon behind the knee, is more than three times as prevalent as 100 years ago, and now two in five of us have one. Less than half an inch in diameter, the bone, which was found in our primate ancestors, has been dubbed the appendix of the skeleton because it is apparently pointless. Now scientists believe modern diets, which have made us taller and heavier, have placed more strain on our knees, leading us to grow the extra bone to relieve the pressure. But there's a catch. Having a fifth bone in the knee could wear away important cartilage, damage that can cause osteoarthritis. In fact sufferers of the painful condition, which affects 1 in 5 over 45s in England, are twice as likely to have a fibella. Some experts now say the fibella should be routinely removed if it is found. Researchers from Imperial College London reviewed more than 21,000 scientific studies performed over 150 years, in which the fibella bone was identified in scans and dissections. They found 11.2% of the world's population had a fibella in 1918. But by last year this figure had more than tripled to 39%, according to the review published in the Journal of Anatomy. Study lead Dr. Michael Bertholm said, This research is so exciting, because it is extremely rare to have a change to the human skeleton which affects everyone around the world. We have no idea and can only guess at what it does, so it could well turn out to be the appendix of the human skeleton. We hope that by studying it we can help people struggling with the pain of osteoarthritis, and figure out if people with fibellas should have them removed. The fibella, which is Latin for little bean, seems to have no evolutionary reason to exist and was believed to have died out with our primate ancestors before it reappeared in medical reports in 1875. People are taller and heavier than in the past, so have a larger gastrocnemius muscle behind the knee which creates stress and friction. The fibella, which is found in the tendon attaching the muscle to the thigh bone, may remove some of this stress by providing a smooth surface for the tendon to slide across. This is certainly the advantage it has in dogs, cats and some monkeys, which all have the extra bone. But experts believe the fibella may create uneven force on the knee, increasing damage to the cartilage. It could also cause pain after knee replacement surgery, as the extra bone stays in place by burrowing into the thigh bone. When that part of the bone is replaced and there is no longer a depression to hold it, the tendon snaps from left to right with every stride, causing pain. Dr. Bertholm said, as we evolved into great apes and humans, we appear to have lost the need for the fibella. Now, it seems to just cause us problems, but the interesting question is why it's making such a comeback. The study, published in the Journal of Anatomy, the authors detail how they reviewed 21,676 individual knees from 27 countries dating back to 1875. Data stemmed from a variety of sources, including X-rays, MRI scans and anatomical dissection. The fibella is known as a sesamoid bone, which means it grows in the tendon of a muscle. A kneecap is the largest sesamoid bone in the human body. The study found that there is a link between osteoarthritis and the presence of the mysterious bone. People with osteoarthritis of the knee, are twice as likely to have a fibella than people without osteoarthritis. But, the researchers say, it cannot be said yet that the presence of the bone causes the ailment. It is also believed the nuisance bone affects knee replacement surgeries and can cause discomfort itself. Its use in modern humans is widely debated, but thought to be negligible or non-existent. However it is thought that in our evolution it had larger role to play before becoming irrelevant. It may have acted as a kneecap to these animals before evolution made it redundant in our ancient human ancestors. Its resurgence over the past 150 years, is thought to be a result of improved nutrition in the wake of the man wars that beleaguered the 20th century. Better nutrition means humans are now taller, stronger and heavier than ever in our history and this is increasing the strain on our frames. Knees are therefore under much greater pressure and the bone develops as the tendon is exercised, which may have led to the resurgence. Dr. Bertholm explained, the average human, today, is better nourished, meaning we are taller and heavier. This came with longer shin bones and larger calf muscles, changes which both put the knee under increasing pressure. 
This could explain why fabulae are more common now than they once were.